Hey guys, Tonia here. I'm here to talk about the Visual Fleet issue and a brawling fit that I've come to really take a liking to. The Visual Fleet issue gets a 5% bonus to rocket explosion velocity, 25% bonus to explosive rocket damage, and 20% bonus to all other types per level. It kind of resembles the hook bill with this bonus. It only has two launcher hard points, however, although it does have a utility high slot with an off spec turret slot, and a respectable drone bay of 15 meters cubed, allowing it to actually achieve a higher DPS output over the hook bill in non-polarized fits. It also has a 50% bonus to web range, which is incredibly handy for catching and killing kiting ships like Imperial Navy Slicers, Crows and Garmas. I think people tried to put uh, too much emphasis on the web bonus, at least in Nullsec. The Vigil Flea issue has, a, has very good brawling stats, and while it's true, you're not using the web bonus to its full controlling potential by fighting in regular scram and web range. The sacrifices that you need to make in DPS cap and tank to shoot at 15 kilometers do not seem worthwhile to me. It is possible to fit missile range rigs to deal DPS at that range and use a disruptor instead of a scram. And this is a fit you might see more of in low sec. But 1v1 control fits do not tend to do as well in Nullsec, where you're often trying to assassinate tacklers out of position from gangs and kill ships before their friends can arrive to save them. It's also much harder to fly in an environment where a lot more people uh, understand slingshotting mechanics and use micro warp drives instead of afterburners. Uh, the Vigil Fleet issue is also very fast, making it great for roaming in Nullsec, as it can run the majority of gate camps. The fit that I use runs two Tech 2 rocket launchers. I typically use Nova Rage in most of my engagements. The 25% explosion velocity bonus on rockets is very useful and it means you can apply Rage to every scram web frigate in the game, including speed fit, attack frigates and interceptors. You may struggle against other dual prop ships and afterburner only ships, so I recommend you carry Kadari Navy Nova as well. I also recommend you carry Rage Missiles for the other damage types. You do do 12.5% uh, more damage with Nova Rockets over the other damage types, which you want to use if possible, but if you're fighting against Shield Ships or Martek 2 ships, you should be using Mjolnir or Inferno Rockets instead. I also use a 125mm autocannon. It might not seem, seem like much, but it does actually add mean meaningful DPS to your ship, and you can't fit a new because of Power Grid. Feel free to swap this out for offline utility like a core probe launcher if you really want to, but I feel like the DPS added here is actually a lot more relevant than people will expect. Yes, you are going to be shooting into deep fall off with the gun, so it's only going to be adding 12.5% DPS instead of the 20 with max skills and tech 2. I don't actually have on this character in the video, but with max skills it's 25 DPS. But it's still nice and it helps with all-ins at 0 kilometers as well. Uh, the mids are pretty standard, uh, compact MWD, Tech 2 Warp Scrambler, Fleeting Web, and a Republic Fleet Medium Shield Extender. If you don't want to spend as much ISK, you can replace the Republic Fleet Shield Extender with a Compact Shield Extender instead. But I think the cost to upgrade is still worth it, since the Republic Fleet is only 9 million ISK. Going from Compact to Republic Fleet adds almost 800 effective hit points, so it is quite relevant. In the low slots, I run a named damage control and two Tech 2 ballistic control units, which greatly improves the damage and tank output. I use Acolyte 2 drones to deal EM damage to help with the light explosion lock on the ship. They're also probably the best generic drones to use right now, but you, you can swap out Hobgoblins or Warriors. For the rigs, I run a Tech 2 Ray of Fire missile rig and two Tech 1 core defense field extenders. The two core defense field extenders increase the overall uniform effective hit points more than putting an EM or thermal rig onto the ship, but feel free to plug the resist hole if you're worried about it. Based on my usual null sec encounters, I tend to find direct EM damage at my engagement range of 7 kilometers to be fairly rare. Uh, EMP is going to be in deep fall off. Scorch S is a lower damage crystal and not many people uh, fly laser frigs in Nullsec right now, especially beams, which are much rarer in Nullsec than Lowsec because of the cap fitting and tracking penalties being much more apparent when you fit micro warp drives instead of afterburners. You should be able to outbrawl other non-assault frigate rocket ships regardless, and you can catch light missile kites easily with your 19.5 kilometer web with slingshotting. 
Uh, so how does this compare to the Navy, the Kadari Navy Hook Bill, a ship which ha it has a lot of similarities with? It is much faster since it can achieve almost 3.5 cold versus 3.15 on the uh, on the Hook Bill. It also is slightly more agile and it has the 15 km web, so it deals with catching long range tackle on ships like Interceptor, Slicers, Garmas much more easier than the Hook Bill does. It deals more damage than the Hook Bill and it's a stronger brawler thanks to the improved fittings. It, it gets slightly more effective hit points. Uh, the Hook Bill often has to fit at least one fitting model rig and, and thanks to the explosion velocity bonus the, the visual navy the visual fleet issue actually comes pretty close to the application of a dual web hook bill it does however lose out on the controlling options of the fifth med which could be a second web or a tracking disruptor for example and it loses out on the missile velocity bonus which can be quite relevant because it means that instead of being able to fight at 12 kilometers the entire fight like the hook bill can with rage you, you can only fight at 8 kilometers it makes dealing with some ships like sabers a, li a lot harder than you would expect although that's kind of made up a bit by the extra brawling stats but I really feel like both ships are well balanced options. I'm more of a fan of the Vigil Fleet issue because I value the m mobility and damage a lot more. But the, the Hook Bill is still also a, a very good contender for the ship. Uh, your typical game plan with the Vigil is to fight at the edge of Rage Rocket Range. I recommend you orbit at around 75 kilometers against all short range turret ships, which are blasters, pulse, and auto cannons. You should use Nova Rage where you can because you get 12.5% more damage. With that, except shield tank ships, which you may want to consider using Mjolnir Inferno rockets on instead. And against a Martek 2, you should be using Inferno. Against Mimitartek 2 shield ships, you should probably be using Nova because their EM and thermal resistances are often equal to explosive, so you actually end up doing more damage by using explosive against them. I recommend brawling and approaching drone, uh, long range turret ships, and other missile ships so you can get the, your full all in DPS from your auto cannons. Since they're always going to be doing DPS to you, and you really want just to get that extra 25, 25 DPS in, which, which can actually really add up in a fight. Uh, and also, that again, they're always going to be doing DPS to you anyway, and against long range turrets, you, you can maybe go under the guns by orbiting at close range. You can kill most uh, Tech 1 frigates in this fit, faction frigates, pirate faction frigates, and Tech 2. I'd recommend you avoid the Vengeance and the Hawk because they're missile assault frigates and they can do damage to your engagement range and they just typically outbrawl you. Against the other assault frigates, you, you can win by just playing at range. Uh, I'd make re recommend you avoid the Succubus and the Worm from the pirate frigate fit options the worm same reason for the vengeance and the hawk it just outbrawls you at every at all ranges and there's nothing you can do and the succubus has a huge afterburner bonus even with your 25 percent rocket explosion velocity bonus uh you're not going to be applying full damage to it even if you even if you were to carry the kadari navy mule near so it, and it also hits your resistance hole if you went for the same rigs as me so for that reason i would recommend you avoid the succubus you can also kill most of the Tech 1 Destroyers. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as, as hard counted to you as the other ones I mentioned, but I'd be very careful around Coercer, Algus, and Dragoon. Because, again, they do really high DPS to your range. Uh, the, the Missile Interdictors can be tough fights, but they are winnable in the right circumstances. With the Heretic and the Flycatcher. And the Ares and Sabre you should be able to deal with kiting at range. Uh, Command Destroyers, I'd say you should probably avoid them for now. They just tend to have too much stats. And out of the all of the tactical destroyers, uh, I'd avoid a Jackdaw and Confessor completely. You probably can't kill them. Even uh, like Missile Jackdaw can be a, a difficult fight, even if it uh, doesn't have much of a tank. The Hakati, however, should be an easy kill if it has blasters, if you can control it at 8km. Uh, avoid Rail Hakatis, though. And RT Seepals, uh, you can win if they engage you at zero. A lot of Seepal pilots are bad and they'll maybe just aggress you at zero in artillery for some reason. Uh, against an Autocannon Seepal, it is a fight you can technically win. But it's a very long and very uh, hard fight where you have to kite them continuously like at 8.5 kilometers and just hope they don't kill your drones while you slowly work through his uh, 26,000 effective hit points and you know 90 D DPS passive regen. While taking like 30, 30, 40 DPS from him. You know, it's, it's a hard fight, it's winnable, but you have to control it for a long time. And you can always run from, from the uh, dual medium shield extender super because it doesn't have enough control to keep you there since it only runs a scram. 
and like even in even in speed modes, you're actually uh, faster than the, the and the uh, super winner vigil navy issue because you have 500 meters uh, base speed. Uh, a super without mods is 479 meters per second, so you should always be able to leave from a uh, sweeple if it has auto cannon. So it, it doesn't hurt to try, at least if you think you can potentially win. I'd I'd recommend you give the ship a spin, as it is a lot better than what a lot of people seem to expect from it. It's fairly unknown and underused right now. I have a few flights for my live stream that I'd like to share with you. Enjoy the clips, and I hope you enjoy flying it as much as I have. Just need, just need some good drama, man. I need, I need, I need to cause a, a war, man. It's to be the uh, the grill game of war. Alright, there's a sweeple here. It's the dude who normally fights. I, I've died to him before, I think. It's running the RT fit. Uh, it's really hard to kill an RT fit from... Because uh, uh, you have to MWD towards it. Uh, should, should, I mean, I'm willing to try it, I guess. I just need to, like, uh, pilot really well. We like need to like start the fight on top of him, you know, like this. But well, it looks like I uh, fucked up again, you know. Like one hit will kill me. I did get on top of him though. Oh come on! Oh my, my drone's not even fucking firing, man. Fuck! Oh yes, we got it. Fuck you, drones, man. <laughs> 24 structure HP. If I lost that kill because my drones, because I didn't fucking fight for my drones on him, I would have been so angry, man. Say, but I think we can kill that. Like, there's gonna be like Orphrus cancer coming, but like, I mean, generally we should be able to just outbrawl a saber. I feel. I'm actually outside my missile range right now. There's a manticore here. What the fuck? I don't think the manticore can really do all that much to me. I should be able to kill him after the saber. How much is the manticore doing to me? The Orphus dudes aren't even in local yet. I need to be careful with the fucking NWD on. Okay, that's good. Alright, Manticore down. Well, this guy's almost on the gate. He's not getting out. Alright, that was a good fight. He's not showing his prop of yet either, though. 
<laughs> both going without showing problem. Okay, I'll never go towards him. actually a waste of thing to do that. Plus one in local. I think he's MSAB. I can orbit at a further range. I think I should do that. Actually no, I think we're actually killing him. It's close. He was AB only though, so... Might be a Tyrannus incoming. I'm trying to go back to... I need to go back to DSS anyway to repair. I'm actually... Oh, there's a Ishka on scan. Uh, I'm pretty low, though. It's coming to this gate. Can I kill an Ishka? We're missing 300 armor. I think I can, maybe. This is the Ishka. I don't have much heat, though. That's the only problem. Let's see what he does. So he has light iron blasters. That's good for me. Because it means that I can actually kite him out. Oh, my ship's not moving. What the fuck? Well, I, I fucked up a bit there, but it looks like I'm okay. I'm like outside his scram range right now. And it looks like I'm breaking him pretty hard. Right, there's a Drake here, that shouldn't be a problem. Jaguar's here now. Don't want to lose my drones, but I might. Fuck, I lost the drones. Oh, the Jaguar's only AB. I was like, uh, I was like too focused on like, getting out. His drones weren't aggroing. Oh shit, man. The like, C type died. No, oh, it's in the slicer now. I kind of wish I had the extra short HP because it's going to make a big fucking difference in this fight. It's Chesterfield, I think. 525 MS base. Yeah, he's Chesterfield. He's double nano Chester. Double nano small ancillary, I'm pretty sure.
Yeah. Well, okay, it's, it's actually different rigs. And why is he using Imperial Navy Ultra, Ultra Violet? One Scorch Crystal? He doesn't have Scorch? Tech 1 Infrared? That's kind of weird fit. I mean, it is... Okay. They want a 1v1. Uh, let, let me reload to Mjolnir first, though. We can also maybe do some, like, elite tactics where we get, like, some drone DPS on him first, I guess. I don't know. I'm not gonna be a pussy, though. Let's just fucking go in. Let's do it, man. Oh, fuck. Uh, it's fucking nothing, though. His EM resistance is actually pretty low. Okay, let's let's do it, boys. Alark Bach. We want to be on top of him as much as possible because the flag catcher has a uh, uh, it has a uh, velocity bonus, but I don't have it, so I want to make sure I'm on top. N no loot jokes, please. <laughs> oh man, the the catcher is going to interfere, man. Uh, it's gonna be close. I think he's got it though. I think I'm gonna die. I don't know. Maybe it's close, man. I've still got the. Uh... I think the. I think the cash was gonna make the difference here. I got it. Okay, Kestrel, Kestrel, get the fuck off me, man. Is this guy rockets? He is. I mean, if I die to this Kestrel, I think it'll be pretty fair. Here comes the blob, man. Too late, man. Too late. Get a flag catch is good. I, I should, probably should have just ran from the Kestrel. I was too low, but you know. <laughs> it was worth. <laughs> oh, 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 my Cosmos agent, because you want to develop the storyline between us. Not the Kestrel, man. Oh, actually, my EM da damage is doing less than the explosive damage. Okay, that's interesting. Wait, they, they know, know I'm killing this guy. But they're not coming to help him? What? Why are they not helping him? Let's try Inferno quickly. I'm wasting, like, so much DPS re re reloading. Oh, okay, fuck it. Explosive was much better. I think this guy. Okay, there's a blackbird coming to uh, bail him out. It's the heretic pilot from before. Let's pull some range just in case it's like some retard fit. Oh, Manticore, what the fuck? Uh, if the blackbird fails jams, I'm able to kill that guy. Like, I can easily dumpster a meld. He failed jams? Uh, it looks like there might be a uh, rapid cancer coming in though. I'll see how long I can stay. Like, I might be able to dumpster this guy. Their their uh, rapid cancer normally runs like double involved fields. Fuck! I just got jammed. All right, let's get the fuck out then. We got the manticore with our drones. <laughs> yeah, lie die would be really really cool too. There's a the current flag at you here. I mean, we could try, I guess. Let's just shoot man, because we're probably not going to find another fight in this time. Let's just yellow. Fuck it. We'll probably die to the flag catcher. Does he have? Is he have? If he has missiles, I guess it sucks using explosive. Against, okay, there's sunnibals in here. I think the fight's over. We might not even kill the crow at this point because you know, blobbed. I don't think there's anything I can do. <laughs> oh shit, I got out, man. That was pretty good.
I lost my drones there, man. Feels bad. Thrasher Vex and Avishu. We can kill Thrasher. See what this guy's got. Oh, it's fucking arty. Okay, we might die to an arty Thrasher, actually. It's actually really, like, scary. So I might die to this guy. It's actually pretty likely. So yeah, I think we might be under his guns now. I mean, that was pretty close, though. Like, you know, one more volley probably would have killed me. She, he was EMP, though, so I don't know, maybe not. I have 65% base EM resist on armor. Heretic? We can fight that. Uh, ex being explosive locked is kind of bad, though, I guess. I'm gonna, uh... Kind of sucks that my thing was reloading, but I don't know. I think I think thermal is the way to go here. I guess I didn't have to reload, man. His tank is like nothing. He has infinite rage rockets, but his DPS is shit. I mean, he has a. I guess he has a, a bubble and a light missile, like a long range disruptor. So probably can't have any kind of damage mods on that. Like, the rate of fire on his weapons was really slow, considering the the Heretic gets a rate of fire bonus. Hey, what? Light missiles? I thought it was Inferno Rocket that hit me, though. Oh, I was looking at my own damage, sorry. Oh, that's why. I thought we had rockets. I was, like, looking at my stuff. I was like, Inferno Rage Rocket. Oh, but yeah, he, re he actually had the Mjolnir Fury light missiles, so... That has, like, no damage, as I said. Because he doesn't have enough CPU with the Disruptor and the Bubble. Oh, I'm too used to seeing, uh, like, Rocket Heretics. I thought it was going to be a hard fight. Oh, he had plus fours too. Nice. It's like 33 mil pod. Just shoot at him. Okay, so he's here. It's like 300 away. If he makes me burn from this, that's going to be kind of annoying. Because I'm going to lose like, some cap. Maybe I should make you look like um, a lot slower than I am. I don't know. He might fuck up too, though. See, I'll heat when I get like 70 from him. Maybe we can get him. If he doesn't counter here, I should gain on him. It's just if he if he turns off my MWD, where it's gonna be problems. But it, but if he doesn't if he doesn't counter, what the fuck? He's like slowing down now. Is he actually turning around now, dude? Like what the fuck, man? Really? He's actually already moving away, like 142. It looks like he turned off his MWD actually. Okay, he's putting out drones. Oh, he the the cycle after this one. I probably should have made it look like I was a lot slower than I am. Alright, we're heating next cycle, boys. It looks like he's trying to move now, maybe. And this guy's playing like way too defensively for my taste. Like, okay. I'm killing the, killing your drones in bro if you're gonna just not point me. He's like, <laughs> like he's like way too defensive with his drones too, man. He's like he's playing like so defensively. It's like let 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 me let me kill you at like Like, he's already moving away at 80k again. <laughs> I 
Uh, I'm going to give this like two minutes. If he doesn't make like any kind of aggressive move, then I'm just going to warp off. So I'm, I'm not sure what he expects to do here. Wait, let me drop down to 278. I'll pretend I was heating the whole time, bro. I'm actually going to reload into Kodori Navy Nova to kill the drones faster. It's like he's actually making an aggressive move now, maybe. Is he actually fucking making an aggressive move? I think he might be making an aggressive move, guys. Fuck, I can't... I'm going to get it, but... I got hit, got him, I got him. The only problem is I'm going to have to have to mash the fucking... He hasn't noticed that I'm not scramming him. I got the scram one again. I offline the end of D for cap. Oh, nice. Actually got him. But why is he shooting my drones, man? Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like uh, Laz's stream when he was playing the golem. I thought I was in trouble there for a bit when I couldn't actually web him because he muted out my me so much I couldn't web. If if you kill out my drones, you can need my rockets. It, it might have been been like an auto command as well, because he did have them on my drones. Like early. he tried to put them on my my drones when I called them in the first time. Yeah, I offline the MWD because it's going to increase my capacitor regeneration per second. Oh, the RF fighter is actually here. I'll fight him if the... Uh... Looks like he's AB only. If the skiff leaves. Okay. Wait, what? Where the fuck does he have a long point? What the fuck? He's AB long point? Okay. There's a crew here. He might take a lot of damage mitigation though. If, uh... I do have the bonus though, right? So I'm running MWD here so that I'm faster than him and he can't get on top of me. Because uh, he doesn't have the... Because uh... he uh, doesn't have... He has an AB only. But he doesn't have a, a, a scram. This guy's out of range. See what we can do to this guy. Is he afterburner only two? What the fuck? Or oh, no, no prop. That's Kaya. This I've killed this guy before though. Hey, why is running? Crew run from. Shit, dog. Not even gonna help your friends.
Oh, there's the ECM. Okay, that, that's where he left. The ECM wasn't on the field yet. That's kind of. I don't know, that's not a bad fit, but I don't understand the the disruptor. Like, if you're gonna run like AB, why not run a scram? Because like, I could just keep my MWD running the whole the whole fight because he had a disruptor. So like the AB is useless to him. Like aside from mitigation, but like, like he's not mitigating that much DPS from my rage rockets even. Like he does have an afterburner, but I have the five percent rocket explosion velocity bonus, so it mitigates a lot of that. Okay, Stiletto, Stiletto Bro is here. See what he does, man. Like he he warped and he came back, so he's definitely looking for me. Like he's not like checking out the system or anything. Like I'm AFK, man. I'm like zero MS on the edge of the bubble here, man. Like easy kill for you. He's moving. He's like coming to me, man. Like as soon as he gets into scrum region, going in, get going in on that shit, you know? Was he just, like trying to bait me or something? The gay fire is not from here. So it means it's plus one, but it came from FR attack B. Okay, now he's going on, going in on me. I'm not FK, bro. Sorry. Just a prank. Oh shit, man! He doesn't have any shields. There's gate fire. It's a cinnable. Typical Russian ship to respond to solo frigate. Oh, he's an RT one as well. Fuck. Kinda sucks. I wanna get my drones. <laughs> Pranked. Seven filtered Rex and the planet. Okay. Oh, it's still here. Wait, why is my thing not activating? It's just, we're just gonna approach him so we can get like max DPS on this guy with the auto cannon. They actually get bombed like really far. Doesn't look like he's gonna have decent defenses, so. Oh, actually, I have Kadai Nova loaded, that's kind of bad. Since my DPS is not gonna be as high as it should be. What are these? Hub Goblin 1s. Let's get rid of them anyway. Luckily, uh, these missiles are really good at dealing with them. It has a disruptor and a web. The fuck, that's really weird. Unless he has a Sino, I don't really understand. Let's, let's pull some range. Let's orbit 7500. It doesn't really make any sense though. Like, unless he's like PvP minor XD. Without actually being in like a decent PvP minor fit. Actually, he's mining, so you he, he can't fucking have a signer, right? I'm being retarded. Well, it's actually a good thing that he has a has a scram and a scram and a disruptor. So it means it's going to be a lot faster for him dying to me. Okay, well, first wave is down. He dropped the scram on me. So he has a shit scram. He probably has compact or or X or uh. Okay, here comes wave number two. We're gonna have to kill him with another hobgoblin ones. But once they're dead, I mean it should be an easy fight, I think. Or not fight, but okay, there is another dude in local. Let's take the combat scan things off. But once this hobgoblin is dead, I think we're, we're good. It might be like some cancer coming in, so I'll just take pre pre uh, precursive measures. There's an Hikati coming. I can actually kill an Hikati. 
Looks like it's coming here. So I'll get ready to bail. But I can kill the Hikati, I think. It's like a typical bad Hikati. She probably is. Okay, so the thing bailed, no. Let's see what the Hikati does. I do have, like, some uh, problems with... Uh, thing. 150mm railguns. I don't think I can fight that, unfortunately. I don't know. It'll be, it'll be really difficult. Maybe I can put some deep pressure on him from range. But the, the problem is, it's gonna, it, it like... Let's see what his tank is like. We'll, we'll wear him down a bit. The problem is that I don't think I can win the all-in. But I mean, it doesn't it looks like he's active tank, pure active tank. We have to basically like get on top of him and lose rage. He's eating shit from fucking drones. What the fuck? Okay, he has his disruptor now. There's a jackdaw coming. He looks like this guy's tank is like nothing. I, I can probably get this guy down before the. I mean, the jackdaw's here now, unfortunately. But I, I can kill this guy. I'm gonna get a Hikati kill in a in a visual navy issue at least. Just hope this guy isn't. Scram. He isn't. Okay, what does he have? Mjolnir. Okay, I can get away from this guy. I want my drones though. What the fuck? I don't have any tank. It's like, what the fuck? Like, my drone's basically soloed him, man. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> if you turn gay, you're coming for me. Oh god, okay. Yo, thanks for the follow, Mango Man. Nineteen said, "Oh, they're here. Well, I'd fight one of them one v one, but two are here. Okay, what what do? Okay, one of them jumped. Did, did they both jump? Oh shit, man. Well, I I definitely can't handle two drone boats at once. Two drone destroyers at once. Hey, there's only one dude in the local here. What the fuck? Did only one of them jump? Alright, let me reapproach the gate. Let's see what happens, right? We'll get this guy aggressed on this side. And then uh, I can fight the the Algus. He actually has a long point. Uh, I'm actually tempted to go on the Dragoon, actually. Let's see what happens, man. Okay, so D D Dragoon is aggressed. Hey, what the fuck? The, there's no... What, what, what happened to the Algus, man? Shit. Okay, well, he's... What the fuck happened there? What's the, well, I'm rubber banding a bit too. Okay, well, he's not D scan. The uh, dragoon still got 30 seconds of aggression, so I assume he's gonna go on me. Oh fuck, he's here! Shit, man. Well, okay, let's 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 go on the dragoon. Like the Algus has got some time to come back. Uh, this is probably like the best we're gonna get. Let's do it, Allah Akbar. Hey, does he not have newts? What the fuck is this? Oh, it's ECM. What the fuck is he doing, man? He has no damage? No newts? What is this guy shooting me with? I'm not sure if I can... That's a weird Dragoon, man. I'm not sure if I can do this guy. Prototype Goss Cannon, that's a railgun. This guy's got really good damage. 
We're dead. His drones are coming back now. No, I think I can try the all-in. It's just that local went up a lot as well, so... Let's see. It looks like he might have an oversized AV. Okay, there's a Harbinger and an Ishtar coming. Oh, he was missiles with... He didn't use Warriors, though. Why did he try to EC me out instead of just putting Warriors on me? Alright, I came from uh, YH9. The, it's just the Algus there still, though. I'm pretty low, though. It's going to take a while for my shields to regenerate. I'm, I'm willing to go in on the Algus, though. Just kind of need my shields. Alright, let's go to uh, YH9 and check the other side just in case. So, e Easter Bunny 16 is the August pilot. He has rail guns. Are those his drones? They're not, okay. I think we should just YOLO it, man. Like, he doesn't have drones out right now. Maybe we can, uh... Like, we might be able to get, like, some free shit on him. Okay, no, he's not... I don't think he's gonna aggress. Okay, he's gone. Like, sometimes, like, against drone boats, like, just YOLOing like that can be a good idea, because, like, a lot of the time that they, like, like, panic, aggress, and they, like, lose, like, one tick of their drones. It can work sometimes, but... Well, we should definitely be reloaded. The good news is we killed his shields, so... Like, if he comes back in and wants to fight, like, once he comes back in... Uh, like, he's got less... It, like, the HP on... The, the shield HP actually makes a big deal. Tower War. Okay, this guy's back. He jumped. Scoop up his drones. I mean, the EC 300s are worth nothing. I guess the oh, so the tower's back in system now. The Algus is on this side. I'd I'd rather go on the Algus because like the tower is gonna have like some like latency like coming in. Like as you can see, that the Algus is already like kind of damaged, so. We're keep, keeping him scared, you know? It looks like he might be, like, passive tanked. Laser tower. I don't think it ha even has uh, turret hard points, so... My shields are basically full again now, so... They're not coming in, like, um, the tower isn't anyway. I guess they're trying to stay on the same sides together, but I, I can't fight 2v1, unfortunately. Easter Bunny 16 is the Algus, he's back in. Uh, let's see what he does. If he aggresses on this side, I'm jumping and I'm going to fight the tower. Because if I aggress here, then the tower can jump in. On other news, like, he's not actually aggressing, so... Alright, let's, let's go on this guy, man. Like... Okay, so his friend is in here now. So we, we might be committed on this. I think this guy might pussy out. And then we can go on the tower, maybe. Okay, he's gone. Okay, the tower, tower's on me. 
it's a claw here. That could be bad if it's not. I think it's. I think we can kill the tower. Easter Bunny, the dude is not back yet. Oh, this guy has rockets, so this is actually a bit of a stronger fit. I'm pretty low right now. I think I fucked up the the tower enough, maybe that I mean the Argus enough that maybe he he can't fight. Algus bro still hasn't come back yet. Hell man, he banded his friend. Poor guy, man. Wait, he had two... Why didn't he have a web, man? He has a third mid. Easter Bunny, like, the Alga still isn't back here yet. Let's check the other sides. I'm still pretty low, but I'm, I'm confident that the, the Alga is pretty... Well, it, it was mostly like a 1v1, but I kind of like... forced them into it. Wait, he's jumping. No, he's warping. Wait. No, he just came out of a warp. Oh, that's fucking weird. Stab a fleece. Okay, there's no more fighting. <laughs> fighting now, man. Shit, man. Let's just go in on this guy quickly, just in case. But there's going to be a stab of fleet issue coming. Oh, he's actually fully repped. Okay. I did actually kind of get a decent bump on him. Oh, he's going to fight, I think. Is this guy shield, shield fit? I think that there might be like some dudes coming in, though. Wait, the stab of fleet issue's here. Oh fuck, man! We almost killed that guy too. Uh, it was the stabbing flea issue that fucked me up. That was a—he still did a pretty decent amount of damage to me though. GF man, fuck. There goes there goes that like thirteen kill right, uh, kill mark uh, v, v and I. Su Suzanne keeps killing my <laughs> killing my own ults. <laughs> 